This is a video on how to synchronize folders between a Mac computer and an Android phone. For this to work, you first need to install SyncThing on both devices. For MacBook, SyncThing has an application called SyncThing for Mac OS, which you will have to install first and then on the Android you can go to the Google store and look for SyncThing and install the Android app. Once you have both applications installed you can launch the app by going to your application folder on your Mac and double clicking on SyncThing or you can just open your browser and enter the address 127.0.0.1 in your browser and it will open the settings for the SyncThing application. Once it's launched, you can launch also the one on your Android device and if you want, you can allow the SyncThing app on the Android to synchronize continuously or you can synchronize only when the app is open so if you want to synchronize only when the app is open you don't need to prevent the battery optimization of android now that the app are installed on both devices you first need to make a link between the two devices so they can recognize each other first we are going to add a new device by clicking on add remote devices and then it should recognize a nearby device. In this case, it already has. Click on that device ID and then type the name of your Android device. And then click Save. And then it should say that it's connected. Once it's connected, you can create a new folder which you can use to sync with the new device. By default, there's already a folder set up for syncing. You just have to add it to the share. So this folder is not yet shared, so we will share it first. Just click on edit and then click on sharing and select the Android device which you want to sync to and click save now that it's up to date all we have to do is add files to the folder and see if it's synchronized with the android device so i'll open the finder and go to the folder under sync and then i'll just add a new file for example i can add a new folder and to see if it works, I'll just write a different name and rescan on the Mac to make sure that it synchronizes with the Android device. Once you selected the correct device you want to sync to, there will be a notification on your Android which asks that this Mac want to share a folder with your Android. So you have to acknowledge the request to synchronize with the Android device. And you do that by sliding to your notifications on the Android device and look for the sync thing app, which says that the Mac wants to share a folder and you tap on that notification and you have to first choose a directory on the Android device where you want to set up the shared folder. In this case, I can create a new folder and type in the name of the folder, click OK, and then tap on select. And then now I can tap the check mark on the upper right corner. Here I can see the status of the synchronized folders, but if I want to open the folder itself, I will have to use a file explorer. In this case, I'll use the Samsung file explorer, which is called my files. Now I can go to the synced folder, which is under internal storage and then download. And then in this case, it was under the new folder called sync. I placed under test two and then on sync. 
Then here you see the folder that I created on the Mac has been synchronized to the folder on the Android. Now I can add any file to this folder and both devices will have the same files. For example, I'll add a photo to this folder on the Mac and it should show up on the Android device a few moments later. So now I pasted a picture on the Mac in the sync folder and it should be synced to the Android and as we can see it already appeared in the Android folder and it also works vice versa. You will also be able to synchronize files which you put on the Android so that they will also be copied automatically to the Mac. And if you have a Windows laptop, they also have a SyncThing version for Windows, which you can download on the SyncThing.net website. And the procedure is exactly the same like on a Mac. Thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and see you in the next one.